Hello friends and welcome to the Saitama Stacker channel. My name's Dean and I'll be hosting the show today. Hey, uh, it's a great day to be a member of the Wolf Pack. Things are looking up. Um, there's some amazing new uh, information that came out today and uh, some additional information to uh, some announcements that were made public previous. So we'll be, taking, we'll be taking a look at those. This is my third attempt to film the show. I'm struggling with my voice. I don't know what's going on with this cold, but I can't get over it. And my recording software has crashed on me twice. So third time is a charm. If you're brand new to the channel, please know I only make these videos for education and entertainment purposes and for community building around the Saitama token. So please do your own research before you consider investing. Um, all right, lots of things to talk about. I'm going to jump straight into the fundamentals and we'll go through that. Then we'll look at some interesting news that's going on and uh, we will um, wrap it up with some reflections. So, all right, holder count today, 179,116, an increase of 4,249 from yesterday. So this is still amazing growth. We are pretty well on track to hit the target that I was projecting um, when I did my price prediction last week that <clears throat> pretty much got blown up. Uh, maybe not. This is my price prediction for the Cytomask launch. It's six zeros one one. When we burned that zero, I thought I was in trouble, but we'll see how it pans out. We have another uh, eight days before the launch of Cytomask and the big uh, event in in Las Vegas at the Hakkasan, okay? So I'm thinking 239,000 by the launch. Right now we're at 180,000, all right. The market cap is up a little bit. The price is up a little bit. Looking at the uh, <clears throat> Ether scan, we're up about 4% from yesterday and solidly hanging in in that 709 range, 70934 right now. So this looks pretty good. I don't know why my internet is not wanting to load uh, data or a chart here for Saitama, but if we could look at it from today, there's been little ups and downs. Um, there were yesterday and the day before some pretty big dips. There we go. But for the most part, it, you'd call this consolidation, which is sideways movement, okay? So people are trading in and out of the token, but we're not really taking much of a beating. You could see early this morning, it looks like somebody maybe took some profits. Um, it sold off down to about 7086. Uh, and then as a wolf pack, we just eat these dips over and over and over. And the dips are kind of getting less and less deep. So hopefully we're just staging it up here to uh, make a, a nice push, okay? And leading into the, the Cytomask launch. So I like what I'm seeing there, okay? Um, the volume today is down a little bit, 73 million. And when the volume's down, it means the burn slows down a little bit. So uh, with our current market cap, according to coin market cap, we notch up one spot to the 47th rank coin in all crypto, which is awesome. Um, the burn looks re relatively the same, but yesterday's burn in reality was 685. So there's some rounding going on there. So we have had a tick up in the burn, uh, about 0.06%. Uh, um, so not uh, not bad, I guess. I mean, we're, we're moving in the right direction. It's, we need to keep that burn alive. All right. Um, that would be a burn of 1% in about 64 days on the burn speedometer and um, would mean a burn of 5.7% um, annually. Okay, about 6 trillion tokens burned in the last 24 hours. So it just keeps on keeping on. All right, let's take a look at some of the fun stuff that's going on today. I'm going to start by pointing you to a video from this morning with Steve at Rocket Crypto, and it is the Friday Live AMA. So if you're new to Saitama and you want to get some amazing content, the developing team for Saitama gets together on Friday and they do an Ask Me Anything event. And so Russell was on this morning, had some very interesting things to say. He's the lead developer. Gabriel was on and talked about some fun things uh, coming with the game. Okay, so there's a game called Wolfcaster. And now we're learning there are two 
Wolfcaster Games. Okay, and I'll show you what that's going to look like here in just a minute. Um, so if you get a chance, check out this video and get to know the developers, you guys. If you hear Russell talk, if you can see this guy, he's so confident. He has so much uh, knowledge and um, just work ethic. He's really doing some amazing things, things I never thought would have been possible. Now, it's an hour and a half, so here's my secret for you guys. And you can turn mine on right now, because when you turn people up in speed, they sound smarter and you get through the content faster. So click on the uh, settings icon, go to nor uh, the speed, and kick it up to one and a half. Your brain acclimates really fast, everybody sounds smarter, and you get through the content faster. Okay, so let's look at what's going on, some of those things I just talked about in the AMA. So first of all, I'm going to point you to a community member named Saitama Informer. Now, somehow I'm subscribed to his, um, he, he writes a blog and I'm subscribed to the blog. It actually, I, I see his articles in my email, but you can check him out on Twitter. And he is really like the official news media editor for Saitama. He has connections to the development team and he's able to get information straight from the horse's mouth. And so it's really high quality uh, information. So he talked with Gabriel, who's one of the uh, creative developers, about this new Wolfcaster game they're calling Wolfcaster 1992. I graduated from high school in 1991, so this is appealing to me. I'm interested to see what they're going to bring. And if you click into this, it talks about <clears throat> basically it's a second game, okay? This is the second game, but it's actually going to release first because it's a simpler format. The Wolfcaster game that they're working on, the original one, is very, very complex. It sounds like it's going to be incredible with amazing graphics. This one's going to start out as a side scroller and um, have a retro feel to it. You can read all about it here in Saitama Informer's article. There was word that there'll be some play-to-earn features, meaning... By playing the game, you can earn free Saitama tokens. So I'm looking forward to learning more about that and seeing it as it comes out. Uh, they talk about having like five chapters. It's uh, They've already got full storylines for some of the characters. There were some good jokes today in the, in the uh, Steve at Rocket Crypto AMA where somebody said, hey, you should put Steve in the game. And Gabriel said, yeah, maybe we'll make him a shaman or something like that. So I thought that was pretty cool. All right. Other things that are going on, uh, Russell this morning, who's the COO of Saitama LLC, the lead developer, he talked about Saitama getting more involved in medicine. And I work in the medical field, um, working in a uh, medical clinic, and it's fascinating what's happening, okay? Now, they're talking about personalized medicine and bioformatics that are only in the infant stages and that Saitama is going to revolutionize this and be on the ground floor using blockchain in all aspects of medicine. Last night I heard on Cuff and the Dip show uh, Bud talking about this and it really, what Bud was saying, it really sparked my imagination and made me think, imagine if your private healthcare information belonged to you in a healthcare wallet similar to a crypto wallet so that anytime you went to a new provider or if you moved, you didn't have to request your records. They can all use your wallet address to peg your um, your uh, health information, your charts, your notes, your labs, everything into this wallet. And when I go visit a new doctor, all I have to do is have them scan my QR code and boom, I'm sharing my private information with the new doctor. That's where I could see this thing being incredible. So I'm looking forward to learning a lot more about this, but I'm telling you, the development team is amazing, you guys. Like how they come up with these ideas and they're in every little nook and cranny of the universe. They're even talking about a new term that I haven't heard before called the metaverse, which um, Russell talked about in the video today. I need to learn more about this, but it basically sounds like our whole lives are about to become digital. and. Yeah, I mean, most of us are already there. We're using our phones for payments. We're uh, using our phones to buy all our Christmas gifts and to do your shopping and 
Um, so more and more applications coming for cryptocurrencies and blockchain technologies. And I'm telling you guys, we have got our cart linked to the right horses with this development team pulling us in such an amazing direction. It's, it's to me like the possibilities are mind blowing, okay? I'm not sure how all of these things tie back to strengthening the coin and the coin's price. And that's something I wanna understand better, but I'm telling you what they're doing is amazing. So, all right. We had a ton of questions in the comments about BitMart. I did a tutorial for BitMart and I wanna look at this again and just show you that the withdraw feature is disenabled, okay? So some people are feeling a little unsettled about that and I can understand why. I did notice in their, um, you know, basically like major uh, coins that the withdraw feature seems to be enabled. But I noticed here there is a little spot that says 24 withdrawal limit verify. So I clicked into that and just saw that, um, you know, if you're not verified, you may not be able to withdraw. So I uh, clicked into the verified section and um, it basically, you have to show some identification. Um, they do a facial recognition piece and you become um, verified. I'm gonna see if that will fix the uh, ability for me to withdraw my Saitama tokens, but I'm not really worried about withdrawing them. The other thing that keeps coming up are reflections in the centralized exchanges. Some of them seem to give them and some of them don't. But I am hearing some people say that their understanding is that BitMart will give us reflections and that will happen once a month, like on the 10th. So I'm just gonna keep following it. I've got $100 in there. It's invested in Saitama. I don't really care where it is, if it's safe. Um, I'm expecting I'm gonna get some healthy returns on that. So um, I'll follow up with you more on that when I get more information. Let's take a look at reflections and uh, then I will lock this one down for today. All right, so <clears throat> with the volume being down, I kind of expected lower reflections. And in the last 24 hours, I've gained 118 million new Saitama tokens. Um, that gives me total token rewards since August 31st of 15,566 million tokens at the current rate, which I need to tick this up a little, we'll just say 7093, makes my total rewards worth $1,447, okay? So it's awesome. And to me, this is great. The $1,400 is amazing. I mean, that's not too far off of what I have invested total in this project. But what's amazing about this to me is that um, every day I get some good news. Okay, and if you want to learn more about the Saitama rewards, go to the official Saitama token website, click on the ecosystem tab, and you'll find um, the passive income system and the burn system, the descriptions here. Okay, folks, I hope you're having an amazing day. And uh, I appreciate you spending some time with me. Check back with me tomorrow and we will watch our Saitama stacks grow together.